Hi y'all, this is Laura from My Tattoo 2 Journey. Today I wanted to share with you a sort of quick video um, about my planner. And now, in this video, I'm not going to go into exactly how I use my planner and all my planner setup, just because that's not what this video is. Um, this video is why I switched from a happy planner to a Carpe Diem planner. And there were several reasons, but the biggest will be obvious to you when I show it to you. This is why. Do you see? Um, can you see? When you use the Happy Planner a lot and you have it in a binder, the pages don't turn. Well, I mean, it's a real hassle if you have much in there. And where'd it go? The cover pops off. Here it is. The cover just kept popping off in my thing. I would go to pick it up and get a turn and it would snap out of it and it was driving me crazy and I use my planner a lot now I've been lax on my Carpe Diem planner the last couple weeks but I need it to function now I liked it I liked so here's May's I, I liked the setup pretty much I didn't care for I never really could get the hang of the vertical layout I just didn't know what to do with it half the time. See, here's some, here's a page, and I just didn't like that aspect of it. And um, it, it was, it worked. I used it for almost a year, but it just started making me crazy. So I switched to my Carpe Diem planner, and I got the little dotty book, which I love little dots like this. Now I'm not going to show you my whole setup one because I have not finished. Things have been so crazy. Um, since I got it, which I started in it in August 1st. Things have just been crazy with all the ER visits and um, I think since August we've had five or six. Between that and doctor's appointments, two to three a week, it, it's just been nuts. So I have not kept up with it. But one of the things I'm, I'm, I am changing and I'll sure share with you is I am not using even the vertical layout, I mean the horizontal pages for my daily work. I found I was double doing it. I was doing a horizontal and then a daily page because I need to be able to write out phone calls I need to make, appointments we have, lists of what to do. I wanted to be able to do all that in one place and it just wasn't working with the vertical in the happy planner or even the horizontal in the carpe diem. So I've started using these daily sheets. I'm hoping that you can see it all. In the Carpe Diem. I really like them um, and they've just been so helpful and I love to have, can put my schedule over here and then um, put what I need to do daily on here and I've been doing that when I'm being good <laughs> and using my planner right. I've been doing that on a weekly basis and because some appointments like this week we have an appointment that I'm, I'm rescheduling or canceling um, so then what's on my monthly calendar doesn't necessarily match up with what meets what's on my weekly calendar and I'll show you more about how I detail all that in another video but I was just gonna let you know I mean the price point is pretty much the same I like the carpe diem is more customizable um, you can't like for me now I can just use the daily pages if I want and I buy you know buy, you buy the packs individually one of the benefits to the happy plan no the carpe diem which I like but can also be a disadvantage is that you have it's not dated you have to date it yourself but the advantage of that is I could start in August and I don't waste any pages I can start it whenever I want and I know this is the time of year a lot of people are thinking about their planners for next year if I had to do it all over again, I would not buy the Happy Planner um, ever. Um, that's just my opinion. I know lots of people love them, but I don't like how all the papers pop out of the rings. And then once you, I like to take the pages out to plan. And so like at the beginning of the week, I have all my days of the week out and I work on them. And then I put them back in my planner. And I don't like what it does to the pages. It tear, you know, it, it bends the pages as you take them out and put them back in. And I just don't like that. Um, it, it's so many little things like that that bother me about the Happy Planner. Whereas the Carpe Diem, you've got the holes. You, it's like an A5. You just open it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> mm. Excuse me.
excuse me, um, if you have an A, it's like an A5 in that you can just um, take the, open the rings and take it out and it doesn't mess up your page to do that. Um, and like I said, I like to customize it more. I like that I can pick what's, what layout I use. And for me, I'm using for my personal stuff, my, um, the daily layout. And for my YouTube stuff, since I have the pages, I'm using a monthly layout because I don't have as many tasks every day in the, in my YouTube and um, social media stuff. So that is why I have switched from from a Happy Planner to a Carpe Diem, and I, I'm I am just really liking it so much more. Share with me what your favorite planner is. I'd love to know why you've picked what you picked, why you love it. Um, and is there one that you used before that you would never use again? And, and why is that? Because it, it helps to see others' experiences on these things. I'm not bashing happy planners or people who like them because lots of people use them and love them. How I use my planner is different than a lot of people. I, I enjoy having a few stickers, but pages with tons of stickers make my brain hurt. It's just how I am. And I, I don't diss anybody else because a lot of people love that and that's great. I can't function that way. If I if I had that busyness on my page, I would just be wandering around muttering because it wouldn't work for me. And that's how I my brain works. So I need more clean space to think and I need more white space on my pages. So why do you like your planner? What makes you think a planner is awesome? And what makes you absolutely want to pull your hair out with it? I would love to know these things because so often we go into something and we hear people only saying, Oh, I love it because... And we don't hear why they didn't like it once they got it. And it helps to have like the Amazon type reviews of planners, you know. So I would love to hear what you use and why you use it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up or a like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I really appreciate you all. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you and have a good day. Bye.